Hello, dear viewer. The picture you are seeing right now is called a Buddha Brot. In this video, we will explore how to create such a Buddha Brot. In order to understand how a Buddha Brot is created, let us first recall how the Mandelbrot is created. The creation of the Mandelbrot relies on the following recursive sequence. The Mandelbrot set is the set of all complex values C, for which the absolute value of the recursive sequence stays bounded. The picture on the screen is a visual representation of that set. Every pixel in this picture corresponds to a complex value. And if that value is in the set, then it is painted black. And if it is not in the set, then it has another color which indicates how fast the absolute value of its corresponding sequence grows towards infinity. It is known that a sequence, whose absolute value exceeds two at some point, is unbounded. So to create this picture, we look at the sequence of every pixel in this picture. We iterate until either the absolute value exceeds two, in which case we paint it with a non-black color, corresponding to how long it took to exceed two or until a threshold of considered iterations is reached, in which case we assume the pixel to be in the set and paint it black. For the creation of this picture, 1,000 iterations were considered. If you want to know how changing that threshold affects the visual representation of the set, you can watch the video in the top right corner. Let me visualize this process of iteration for you. Let's say we want to know if the red dot is in the set or not. We just need to iterate it with the recursive sequence and see what path it takes. If we have a look at the first 20 iterations, it seems that this dot converges to a point and therefore stays bounded. We can also play around a bit by moving the red dot around and observing what path it takes from different positions. First, let's move along the boundary of the main cardioid of the Mandelbrot. As expected, the path of the red dot is contained within the circle of radius 2, so the sequence stays bounded. We can also have a look on the inside of the main cardioid. Here we see that the path always seems to converge to a single point. We will explore why that is the case on a later video. At last, let's move the red dot a bit to the right. We immediately see that the path is exiting the circle with radius 2, so we know that the red dot is no longer in the Mandelbrot set. Let's move the red dot around here too. It's interesting to see that whenever the red dot enters a black bulb, the path is visiting different numbers of accumulation points. We will have a closer look at that in an upcoming video. What's important for this video and for the creation of the Buddha Brot is the idea of tracing out the paths of different start points. To be more clear, we are interested in the path of every pixel, which is not considered in the set, and on top of that, we are only interested in the part of the path before it exits the circle with radius 2. So we are interested in the paths of pixels in the white region on the screen. We just rotated the picture by 90 degrees clockwise. We do that because it makes for a better image in the end. So to recall, we are interested in the paths of the sequences corresponding to the white pixels in the screen. Since Z0 is 0, after the first iteration of every sequence we are interested in, we end up with exactly these white pixels corresponding to the complex values C of the sequences of interest. We will now have a look at further iterations of our sequences of interest. 
White pixels indicate by how many of our sequences the pixel is visited in the current iteration. The more visitors in the current iteration, the brighter the pixel. Let's run through the iterations a bit faster now. In iteration 993, there seem to be only two pixels left, encircled by the red circles. These pixels will leave the circle of radius 2 in the next iteration. Therefore, we don't need to look at further iterations, since no white pixels will be left anyway. It might seem strange why we don't have to look at all iterations up to 1000, but that's just due to the fact that at our resolution, all pixels which leave the circle of radius 2 within 1000 iterations happen to do so within 993 iterations. Now to build our first Buddha Brot, let's look at these iterations again, but this time, at the bottom half of the screen, we will include a view on the cumulative visits of each pixel up to the current iteration. Let's fast forward again. This cumulative view is called a Buddha Brot. It shows which regions are often traversed by unbounded sequences. Now you might be wondering why the Buddha brought at the beginning of the video was more colourful. We will get to that now. To create that colourful Buddha brought from the beginning of the video, we will create a red, a green and a blue Buddha brought. Since we will use different amounts of considered iterations for each Buddha brought, they will all look slightly different on top of their different colours. At the bottom right we will then combine these three Buddha brots into one colourful Buddha brought. Let's fast forward again. Now we have created our colourful Buddha brought from the beginning of the video. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you are interested in more upcoming videos, please consider subscribing. Also let me know in the comments if there is anything you want to see next.